Hi, this is Kevin Purcell for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com. And I've got my iPad and I hooked it up to my television set through the new accessory that Apple has just released to go with the iPad 2. This is the HDMI multimedia cable. It plugs into the quick or the uh, dock connector. And then as you can see, I've got the HDMI cable going here and into the side of the television. Now right here, this is for charging, so that way you can have your iPad hooked up and play games, watch TV, use it for making presentations, and you don't have to worry about battery life while it's going. Now my experience is, one of the things I've noticed is the video quality is average for an HDMI output. The sound quality is fine, in fact uh, we have it hooked up to the television and you can sort of hear the, the game playing in the background. Let me turn that up for you. Now our television runs loud anyway, so uh, at that level it is uh, pretty loud, as you can tell. about the video quality, one of the things you notice is the screen kind of bleeds off at the top and the bottom, and um, that's uh, an overscan issue that I think our television set has had with other devices, so it may just be our TV set, it may not be uh, the app iPad. But, you know, you could see why you could uh, hook this up and play some games. You do notice that the aspect ratio of the iPad is a 4 by 3 aspect, ratio whereas most HDMI enabled sets are 16 by 9 so you get the black bands on the edge that's not ideal in my opinion one of the things that I would use this for is making presentations so let me go into uh, Keynote now this is a here. presentation that I will be doing at my church uh, at the end of this month and it's nice because you can hook it up to the projector and the new version of Keynote has the ability to show you your slide and your speaker notes you just swipe on the screen and it shows you the uh, the next slide and it has my speaker notes down here. Now another app that I would use this for is an app that I have called Whiteboard. See now it fills the whole screen. This is a drawing app and uh, so it allows you to draw on the screen so you can use it just like a whiteboard. And that's kind of cool. I think a teacher might enjoy that you know do, working on it maybe with now, a stylus. Of course the other thing that a lot of people would love to be able to do with this is to watch videos so I've got the Netflix app. We tested this and watched the video on it. Notice how the Netflix app does fill the entire screen and that's because it's coded to work where it s sends the signal of the video to the screen but it doesn't show you the interface. My wife likes to watch the television program Angel. We had it hooked up to the iPad and watched the whole episode. And this is where I first noticed the video quality is, is okay. It's not any worse than our Roku box where she normally watches it but it's definitely lower quality than watching it on the iPad itself. And I have the Apple TV, and the Apple TV's video quality is much better than this uh, video quality. So that is one small issue. Um, if you're really looking for great video quality, this may not be the perfect solution for you. But as you can see, you get the play surface down here for control, where you get the uh, actual video up on the screen. Show you one. This is another game that my wife uses in her classroom and, uh, she, a lot uses a document camera with her iPhone. So if she had a, a projector that had an HDMI output and she had an iPad 2, she would be able to show it here and she could hold the iPad and control it while she's showing the, uh, the game on the, the screen. This is a, a word game that she uses kind of as a little bit of an entertainment while she also educates her students and kind of a, as a, um, uh, like a reward when they've got good behavior because they really like to play the game. I think it's a good solution. Um, for $39, of course, it's $10 more than the previous VGA out, but you get a much better signal going out, or at least you're supposed to. Um, and in games like this, you notice that the signal quality, when it does mirror the screen, is pretty good. And then you also get the charging along with it. So there's just that single thing, the charging issue, uh, if you're having problems playing, displaying your iPad for a long period of time, that alone might be worth the extra $10. Um, I think it's a, a, a good device, or a, a, a good accessory. I'm glad that I got it with my iPad, too. This has been Kevin Purcell, though. Thank you for watching for Gotta Be Mobile and Notebooks.com.